Purchasing an electric vehicle may qualify you for a tax break. The rebate amount you would qualify for depends on both your income and the size of the electric battery. Apparently, size does matter. Welcome, my name is David Jolly. And by the way, if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, I would really appreciate it if you did by simply clicking on the subscribe button below. Thanks. Well, purchasing an electric vehicle may be in your future. Maybe it's in all of our futures. And perhaps one incentive right now is the tax benefit when purchasing an EV. But the tax benefits are confusing, and that's why I put this little video together to try and demystify the tax benefits you can legally claim when buying an electric vehicle. According to the U.S. Department of Energy, all electric and plug-in hybrid vehicles that were purchased new or after 2010 may be eligible for a federal tax credit of up to $7,500. Now, the key words here are may and up to. For example, if you purchased an electric vehicle such as the Volkswagen ID4 and owed $2,500 in income tax this year, you would receive $2,500 in tax credits because that's all the tax you owed. If you owed $10,000 in tax, you would then qualify for the entire $7,500 tax credit. Once again, the tax credit is based on the battery size. The bigger the battery, the higher the tax credit and the amount owed in federal income tax. Importantly, the tax credit is not available as a refund or as a credit for next year's taxes. All right, now that we have a very basic understanding of how the tax credit works, it's also important to note that such credits will not be around forever. We can only look as far as the most valuable car company on earth, Tesla. Tesla has long since sold more than the 200,000 plug-in electric vehicles that were pre-qualified to receive a tax credit. As such, Tesla vehicles no longer qualify for any federal tax credit when purchased. Another important fact to be aware of is that these tax credits cannot be passed on to other buyers. Only the original registered owner qualifies. What if there are two members of the same household and they both purchase EVs in the same year? Do both vehicles qualify for the tax credit? Well, the answer is probably yes, although checking in with the family accountant is definitely a good idea and, of course, always well advised. There does not seem to be a limit on the number of EVs purchased in a family and the tax credits available, except that there must be enough of a federal tax burden available for that purchase year. Therefore, if both family members purchase an eligible vehicle, and they both have $7,500 in federal tax burden, then a full tax claim should be permissible. In another scenario, if a single individual buys two eligible EVs with a tax credit of $7,500 for both, they should also be able to claim $15,000 in federal tax credits if they have such an amount of federal tax burden available. Hopefully this video gives some guidance as to whether your EV qualifies for a tax credit. But you might be wondering if the vehicle you're looking for actually does qualify, and if so, what the maximum amount of tax credit it qualifies for. Now, following my yammering, please stay on, don't sign off, as I have the complete list of EV vehicles and plug-in hybrid EV vehicles and their available tax credit. I'll be sure the screens stay on long enough so you can view it, but skip ahead if you're looking for a vehicle, say like a Volkswagen or a Volvo, which will appear later down the list. The list is also available in the description below. Thanks for watching, and for more videos like this and more are coming, please subscribe to this channel.